Hello, welcome to Imtex 2023. We're here in Bangalore still. I'm absolutely loving it. This is my day two, but you're Dave. Five, Ashitaj, right? Day six, right? man. Day six, oh my God, he's been running around, shaking hands, saying hello to everybody. Everyone's yeah. like, Ashitaj, please talk to me, God, I need you. <laughs> You've been very busy, and you know, yeah. I assume you're a bit tired now, but you're ready to do another live? No, no, I'm full of energy right now, and uh, we are now standing in front of UCAM stall, which is very well known for global quality for rotary table, and they have some more uh, business verticals as well, like Nimble Electric and Nimble Machines. Absolutely, so we've got a lot coming up today and tomorrow. We're going to be talking about gear hobbing machines. We're going to talk about radial bevel gear machining, which is all very complicated, very hard to do. Um, I need a very accurate machine to do that, but we're not talking about that today. What are we talking about today? We are going to talk about rotary tables because uh, this, this is one of the premier uh, range for rotary table from UCAM. And I'm going to meet uh, Mr. Indrajdev Babu, who's the MD of the company. Go on, you're talking to the so MD, let let's me... go. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm, I'm doing well. So, how, how, it's a very nice stand you have uh, done here. So, how has been your experience in Imtex after four years? The experience has been fantastic. I'm extremely pleased. I, uh, we were not really expecting uh, so many footfalls. We have really very good... Uh, uh, I mean, inquiries and leads and even hot inquiries. Uh, Amazing. So, can you please explain to me about what uh, three business verticals you have? Because you are, UCAM is very well known for rotary table across the world and for the global quality. But you have new product uh, lines here as well. Please explain. We have three product lines. Our main flagship product is the CNC rotary indexing tables, which is growing very well, and we are pleased about it. And and I'm happy to announce that we have launched the the Q series, which is having a lot of features which helping the customer. Uh, we also produce uh, high performance motors, torque motors and customized motors for machine tool and other applications. Uh, the other is a machine tool vertical where we build gear, man gear cutting machines. We make precision high speed gear hoppers and spiral viewer gear generators. Fantastic. So all business verticals are, you know, kind of integrated with each other, you know, yes. right? Complementary with each other. Yes. So you can, you know, give a holistic solution to your customers. That's right. <clears throat> there is a, uh, though it seems quite different, there is a common connect. The motors are supplied to both the, the rotary table uh, manufacturing as well as for the gear ma machine manufacturing. And uh, the, the, it's one company with uh, three different verticals and independent brands. Amazing, sir. But today, I think we are going to focus on rotary tables. Yes. And uh, now I will hand over it to my yes. colleague, Rowan, who is going to talk about rotary tables. Okay. So, now we're going to be talking to Varun Dev. Thank you very much, uh, sir. We're going to be talking to Varun Dev about the rotary tables here at UCAM. And now they do, um, rotary tables are something maybe people overlook for, uh, and they're made for VMC machine tools that maybe you've got different parts that you need to be making, and they can really improve the productivity of VMC. And now I'm here with Varun. Hello. So, yeah, so Varun is here, and you're going to be telling, take, taking us around the, the booth here today and showing us what products you've chosen to put on the stand and why you've chosen to put them here. But first of all, for people who don't know, what is a rotary table? Basically, a rotary table is uh, a machine that sits on a vertical milling machine to improve your productivity. So it can make a three-axis machine into a four-axis or a five-axis machine. So a rotary table is an intricate piece of machinery that fits into a, um, a three-axis vertical milling machine. Uh, and people use it so that they have uh, flexibility and agility so that they can uh, go ahead and improve their productivity, reduce the setup time, reduce the, reduce the cycle times. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's, it's a piece of tech that people need to know about. If you've got a VMC machine, you need to know about Rotary Table because you might be turning away work because you say, well, I can't make that. But you might be able to make it if you just invested in a piece of equipment like what we we're about to see. So without further ado, let's start looking at some of the products. Do you want to start with the new product line, Baron, or do you want to talk about the standard products, the high speed? Where do we want to go? So let's start with the high speed table because okay. that's a come on, that's, a, that's your USB. So we'll come get Shrishti. Get a look at the high speed table. Um, so it's... So we're yeah. looking, which one is it? So this is the 200URQH series. Uh, maybe if you can go around. So if you go around, you can see that the rotary table is it's quite a small compact beast. But why do you need a high speed rotary table? What's the, what's the importance of the high speed? So basically, this particular rotary table goes on drill tap centers. And uh, it, it, it runs at higher speeds, right? So it runs at 55 RPM when compared to a, a usual rotary table that runs at 33 RPM. So people who like to do electronics manufacturing or auto sector manufacturing, they prefer a high speed rotary table. Absolutely. If you've got the volumes you need to be making parts out, 
the importance is reducing that cycle time and a high speed rotor table helps you do that. And then we're looking at, so these two are look very different to me. Is there, a, is there a big difference in construction? Is this a different kind of rotary table? Yeah, so uh, this is a direct drive rotary table and uh, it's, it's, it's a new launch. It's basically for the electronic industry. Uh, this particular rotary table fits into a drill tap center where you can increase your productivity, increase your cycle times, and it's usually used for mobile phone manufacturing or any electronic components. Okay, so looking at the difference in construction, we're talking there's mechanical, a servo, servo motor and a mechanical system here. How does this actually work? You're telling me there are no gears in this in this rotary table? Yeah, so the traditional approach, just like what you said, is a servo motor connected to the worm and worm wheel gearbox. Whereas over here, this is a direct drive. It works on a torque motor. This is a, a, a permanent magnet motor that uh, directly can give the same amount of torque um, that a gear-driven rotary table is able to give. Absolutely, well, and, but it can move a lot quicker because you don't have all those mechanical components turning in the, in the gear train. So we've talked about these two, and now I guess in these two cases you are pretty much directly mounting the component on with a little piece of work holding maybe, but here is a very different construction. What, what do you call this kind of configuration? So this kind of configuration is called the production system, where we have a fourth axis table mounted on one side of it, and there's a tailstock mounted on the other side of it. Uh, this goes and sits on your vertical milling machine, and uh, it's for companies that like to reduce the setup time. So uh, people uh, generally, uh, in auto sector, people like to get the most out of a, a, a machine. So they, what they do is they add a, a setup where there's a fourth axis table, a tailstock. Uh, this is a, a fixture plate that sits on top of it. In this particular setup, we also have zero point systems uh, that, is, that is integrated into the base plate of the machine. So you've and got four zero point here. Exactly. Um, and it's, it, like you say, it's integrated into this is kind of a trunnion, this is exactly. the base plate that you would manufacture um, for a certain machine tool with a base plate. But on top of here, this is actually what would be a, a customer manufactured base plate. Exactly. Uh, the customer manufactures a, a small plate, uh, puts three to four different components or five, six components depending on the size. They can easily remove uh, and place another set of components. So this is, uh, highly, this is highly attractive for the auto sector. Absolutely, and if you imagine, um, I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm imagining a horizontal machine tool with a pallet changer, or a VMC maybe, but with a pallet changer, you imagine you, you've got a bit of setup times uh, if you're setting up the pallets each component, but if you can just bang, take a base, base plate off, put another base plate on, that absolutely speeds up your setup times, means your operators can go and work on, you could almost get one operator working, maybe four horizontal machines if you really wanted to, and even then on a, on a vertical machine, you could probably have one operator working, maybe two VMCs and three, and making sure you get parts out as quick as possible, and that's what this is all about, I guess. Exactly. So basically, this version is called the URP Qt series. Uh, it it comes with the high speed version and and the normal version. Uh, so for people who want to place this on a drill tap center, they can do that as well. Absolutely. And one important thing to note here. I'm sorry, I sound like I know what I'm talking about because I uh, I know a little bit about rotary tables, not as much as Varun here, I'm afraid. But what I love about it is it's not mechanical. You don't have to go in and change. Um, you get an Allen key, you get a tool come in here. You can completely control this automatically with a, with a, a rotary joint here. You just plug in your hydraulic lines or pneumatic lines. Exactly. And then you can automatically clamp, unclamp, making it even quicker to make these parts. Right, let's move on. What's next? So what next is this year? Come on, Srishti, come on over here. So this year, we're launching the latest generation of rotary tables. It's called the URQ series. Uh, so we have uh, totally a five, we have five sets of products over here that we're showcasing. Um, we have uh, a more compact, 30% more compact rotary table, lesser in weight, um, and uh, people can use higher acceleration and deceleration times on the missioning centers. Uh, and we're uh, trying to make the five, we, we, have we have made the five axis table more compact than the previous genera generation of rotary tables. So people prefer this kind of option so that they can get higher um, outputs of the missioning center. Absolutely, and we previously, we've only, the viewers have only seen fourth axis rotary tables. Now, fourth axis is kind of you go X, Y, Z is your VMC, and then you get uh, normally a, a, a C, like an A or a B. Um, but what is a fifth axis? What, what does that do, and, and, and why is it called fifth axis? So basically, uh, it's called a fifth axis because when you have a three axis machine, uh, and they like to make complex parts, uh, say, say aerospace parts. Like the part we see right here, this yeah. demonstration. Yeah, exactly. So you see that there are multiple different um, 
uh, holes that you need to mill, uh, uh, make threads at, and you need to index it to do that in one setup. So if somebody wants to convert the three-axis machine into uh, a five-axis machine, they can just place this on the machine bed, uh, either on the x-axis or the y-axis, depending on the machine, and they can easily configure the machine into a, uh, a five-axis table. Uh, also, uh, the advantage of this machine is also that we have easy cable management built into the particular uh, into the product. So we, we kind of uh, sh we've tried to improve and we have taken feedback from customers. Uh, so this is the USSR 200 table. So it's the fastest moving rotary table in in the Indian market right now. Really, yeah. that's faster. The fastest moving rotary table. Um, but what should people maybe consider when they're looking at a table like this? Because you can have kind of three plus two indexing, you can have full five axis. On the part here, you've got kind of three plus two here. Yep. But then you also have a five axis scanning on the, for like the, the smooth engine ports. Um, what do people have to think about? Um, what kind of preparation do they have to do on their machines or before they they need to uh, before they can install a product like this? So usually, uh, the, uh, sometimes the machine manufacturer makes it five axis ready, where they input uh, two drives uh, in in into the machine's cabinet, uh, but if not, they need to. We need to procure. Uh, we need to take a license from the machine manufacturer to make it enabled into a five-axis machine. They add. If you have a Siemens or Fano controller, you uh, buy extra Siemens and Fano uh, motors and drive, and uh, you can uh, choose the right rotary table for your machine. Fantastic. What about Heidenheim? You mentioned Siemens Fanet. Can we do Heidenheim? Yeah. So uh, with with with. With Heidenheim, you, you can do the same, uh, or uh, you, you can even increase the indexing accuracy by putting, an, uh, putting a Heidenheim encoder into the product. So if it, uh, this works with a standard plus or minus 15 arc second accuracy, but if you want to go lower to plus or minus 3, you can use an encoder that can be built. So you, get, so you get a closed loop, and then you can make sure you get not only uh, improved uh, volume out of your parts, but also improved part quality as well. So that's pretty, pretty much very important uh, when you come to machining complex structures and frames. Okay, I love it. So we've talked about fourth axis, direct drive trunnions, fifth axis. Where to next, I guess? There's a little bit here we're showing off, right? Yeah, sure. So uh, we're showing off a different set of product range for a different customer base. So these are our uh, rotary tables that built into the machine system itself. So over here, what we have going on is um, a table which is built into the machine bed. It's, it's a four axis table that's built into a machine bed. It's a direct drive option. Um, that's built in. Uh, OEMs usually prefer this particular model uh, for, for customers. Absolutely, because I guess if you have an OEM pro um, sending out a machine with a fifth axis, you lose a little bit of Z height, yeah. don't you? Whereas with this, it's completely built. I'm not going to touch it because it's moving quite very fast. Um, but you, with this, it's built into the bed. You have um, as much Z space as you bought the machine for. Exactly. So uh, a lot of OEMs would generally prefer this particular product because they like to give value to their customers. They like to improve their productivity. This could be a good option. Absolutely. So if you're an OEM out there, you're looking for maybe to put a rotary table inside your standard VMC normal product, then maybe that's a good option to pick. Um, we've also got something behind all of these all of these in, uh, intriguing minds here. We wanted to have a quick look at what's happening. What's happening behind here? So, uh, <laughs> so maybe we've got to come back later. Yeah, yeah let, let, let's come back in a minute. <laughs> okay, we'll come back in a minute to that one because there's a few people that are very interested. Um, and what are we looking at? Are these more accessories, or are these uh, different kinds of rotary tables here? So yeah, we have a bunch of accessories over here. Basically, you can mount a chuck on top of your uh, fourth axis table. Uh, this is the rotary union which we saw inside the production system. Um, we supply this as accessory components. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, accessories that that are integrated into the machines uh, that can be integrated along with the fourth and fifth axis. Uh, it's a tailstock. So these are manual tailstock, it's a hydraulic tailstock, and there are unique features in this particular product as well. Uh, and uh, customers usually prefer these systems along with it, so that you can have a complete solution. And this is one of our larger sizes, it's called the 320 table, uh, so with, with a larger diameter. Absolutely, and that's when you need to do some really big components, or you have smaller components, but you want to fit lots of them on like a big fixture, you can access different sides, because if some customers are looking at these products and saying, well look, Farron, I don't have five axis job, I just have three axis with a few, it's square, I just change it over in the vice, change it over in the vice. What would you say to them when they say, I don't need a rotary table? Uh, I ideally think that people would uh, need, to, uh, need to think about improving the productivity on the machine bed. Uh, if not now, uh, in the future, you might need a rotary table, right? You might need uh, to do a four axis or five axis job, your customer, if you do contract manufacturing, might require uh, a, a, uh, might give you a complex part, and if you reject that part, 
uh, I mean, the relationship with the client might uh, go wrong. Okay, over so a of time. it's better for the relationship with the client, the flexibility to help them uh, make parts for them when maybe other people can't serve them. Um, but what about when people say, well, look, if I put a fifth axis on, I'm going to lose my Z height. Do I have to keep it on my machine at all times? Uh, no, you don't need to keep it on the machine the entire time. You can remove it and keep it outside as well if you don't, if you want the full volume of the machine. Uh, but then you can mount it in different uh, parts of the machine so that you can get more out of it. Uh, some people uh, mount the uh, tilting table, uh, the five axis machine on the Y axis so that they have extra space. They even mount a tailstock uh, and make it into a production system. So you have different, different options that uh, people think about. So it's, it's all about innovative thinking, uh, how you can use it to, to the most. Yeah, you could, I've seen hundreds of videos on YouTube, hun thousands and thousands of pictures of it on Instagram of people with, with amazing work holding ideas. Again, this is a tool and it, you can probably use, use it um, as much as your imagination can let you in terms of creativity, designing the work holding. There's always a better way to make the part that you're making with better work holding, better accessories. Uh, make sure you think about rotary tables, uh, and maybe if you're an indie, you can think you can. Sure, definitely. I think you should definitely think about other options available. Uh, before we finish, uh, Roman, I think we should look at the product with which everybody was uh, around it. Yeah, okay, time. let's go. So the last little bit when everyone was looking through and we couldn't see it, um, Baron, you want to make sure you get the best out. So everything in the stand here. So, um, uh, this is one product that we missed. It's a five axis cantilever table that can be built into the machining center itself. Um, where if you see uh, an OEM, an original equipment manufacturer, whichever brand you are, nowadays they like to integrate the, mach uh, the machine with five axis at uh, optimum cost. And that's what we're targeting. We're trying to enable this technology to be given to the mass to the masses as well. Absolutely. So uh, we have multiple versions of this particular product. It, it can come with a worm driven version as well as a direct drive version as well. Wow, so I guess OEMs, it's not just end users, OEMs can use your, um, your, your knowledge and your heritage in rotary tables for their own machines. So we've been to the UCAM stand. Um, thank you very much for watching. This has been Imtex 2023.